Welcome back, YouTubers. Welcome. West Paul One, watchers, and uh, anyone who's been on the channel for the first time. Yeah. Well, um, I look at some weird things in the division today, but I think I'm just gonna walk around, talk about this new 1.2 patch that's about to drop in the next couple of days oh this patch has me excited i can't wait i mean oh it's good to see you too i got my nice little movie theater up in here i like that you know i wonder what kind of network that is are you guys using cisco can um can is this verizon i mean i know i know verizon's doing a little bit of a strike thing right now but is that what that is I mean, I love how they are constantly putting up Christmas decorations. Look at the trees. We got a tree over here with some gifts and some presents and a little boy laying down. Is he drawing? Is that a little girl? That's a little girl laying down. Looks like she's drawing on something. And see, they got a Christmas tree over here right next to the pots and the pans. So if you wanted to cook something, you're probably cooking evergreen pine needles. They even got a Christmas tree over here that they're, you know, working on. And um, she was playing her guitar a couple seconds ago. I guess she decided to stop. You know, and uh, I think this is the, the missing people memorial. These are the people that are all missing. Mm. There's probably more of them, but there's a lot of people missing. Oh, excuse me, buddy. I gotta get by you. How's life been treating you? And then they got this spot right here. Now, I don't know what this is for. They don't, uh, no, no one tells me what this area is. I don't know if they're trying to log people in that come here so that they can get a cot in the back, you know, maybe get a little bit to eat, whatever. I do know that they continue to put up Christmas decorations. There's never a time when they stop putting up Christmas decorations. You would think that Christmas would have already come and gone since i um, been in the game. I mean, if this is all one day, then this is just all one day. But... I'm going to show you this is area right over here because if you had a chance to watch the state of the game or even looked at some of the other, um, you know, bloggers, YouTube uh, uh, vloggers that, that pull their stuff up and they show their state of the game content, like um, I, I usually watch this guy by the name of Skill Up. I, th I think I'm going to put his name in the uh, in the credits down below, especially to the one that I enjoyed the most, the, the one, the latest one he, he posted up. This is going to be my favorite area the developers are going to put in a place right over here where you can go out into the pve community and search and destroy some high targets so they're they're, they're also claiming that you're going to be able to get and see it's perfect because it's right next to the k9 unit oh man i know i don't know i don't remember if you guys heard me talking about this before but i said you know when um what was the the guy's name? Uh, 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 Bull something. I don't know. The the high end player that they took out of the game level thirty that was up in the northern area, right outside of the right outside of the uh, dark zone that they took away. That was always dropping Phoenix credits, and they took him away because everyone was killing him and leaving his bodyguards alive. So, I mean, because they took him out, you know, I was thinking maybe they could put the K9 unit to use. And they could search out all these high-end, high-name generals that are still out in the PvE area. And once you sweep all of those high-name generals that are in the PvE area, then you could, you know, get a reset. But, uh, nope, they took that out, and they're going to add it back to the game. I'm loving the fact that they're going to add this back. Now, you do have to pay for these high-end uh, generals or, or these high-end characters, these high-end NPC characters that are going to be in the game. You have to pay some type of currency. It's a um, it's a covert currency. I believe it's I believe that's what it's called, covert. Because these are covert ops. They're going to be sending you out into the community to do some covert ops. Um, I think I want to get into the dark zone real quick. Just run around in the dark zone. But before I do that, I want to show you guys a little problem I'm having with my loadout currently. I mean, as you could, you know, take a look at my stats here. I'm pushing 181 in my primary DPS, 67 health, and 107 in skill power. 
My character is hurting. I need a bump like crazy. I need to be able to get buffed quick. I have a um, black market AK-74. That's a 182 score. But all the rest of my guns except for my vectors are 163. And my first wave M1A is a 131. So, and I, I usually use this SRS A1 over the M1A. I mean, just being that it has higher damage and the mag size is kind of similar. I do have balanced on this and I have toxic. Uh, and the other one I have harmful and that that's all, you know. So I can either apply bleed or when I shoot somebody, I can make them go blind for a little bit. I like the bleed status better than the blind status. Feel if I can make you bleed, you know, you can't run. Uh, you, you you also continue to lose health even if, though it's a small amount of health. I mean, if I'm down to the last couple of shots and it's a sniper rifle, it probably shouldn't have to put more than about two or three into you. I mean, if I have to put more than three into you, I'm not doing my job. And my sniper rifle's not good because I'm not hitting you in the head. My snipe game is off. But um, let's take a look at this problem that I have. I have this Vector 45 ACP that's giving me 181, 847 DPS, right? Because of the 19K damage, 23% crit hit chance. I'm running brutal on it. I would love to run commanding at the same time and I've got responsive. Now commanding, I like that because I am a lone fighter. I don't have a team, I'm by myself. So I'm popping that defense status a lot. I'm using my third alt as much as I can. I'm trying to get away from people. I'm trying to stay alive. And I need that while I'm running so that I can kill these random, uh, <laughs> so I can kill the random NPC characters in purple while I'm running away or even while I'm running into the battle so that I can get the extended duration by the 13.5 seconds. My character that I have gives off 11.7K damage, 23.5 crit. It's got destructive, it's got responsive, and it's got commanding already built in. Now the problem with this one is here. Destructive and responsive. Now destructive is going to increase my armor destruction by 18%, which is a good thing. Because when you get up to those higher areas in the dark zone, those guys up there, all they have is armor. Even when you're playing up against PvP characters, they have high armor. So if I can penetrate their armor and make their armor crumble so that they can't withstand the shots I'm putting out, that's a good thing. Responsive, not too good for me because I have to be within 10 meters. So this is really my PvP weapon here. My PvE weapon is right here, being that Brutal is a big one for it. I need Brutal. Brutal gives me the headshot damage, which pumps my DPS up to 181. And then, you know, responsive increases my damage. Now, the one thing that I have noticed is that if I don't have this weapon equipped, my primary DPS for all of my weapons drops. I need to know if somebody else has seen that with theirs. Like if I, if I equip my classic AK-47, which is giving me 178 DPS, 10.5K damage, and I've got stable, I've got deadly, and I've got destructive on this. That's where I can, that's usually the gun I use when I'm going up against uh, PVE people. Shoot them with that, take down their armor a little bit. And then I'll switch over to the vector and try to take them out. However, sometimes I don't last long enough. <laughs> because the set that I'm running right now isn't really a set. I've got one striker with three nomad. I need the fourth Nomad and I need an extra Striker. That way, once I get the two Striker, I'll get the Striker bonus of the plus 20 enemy armor damage. Now, I wouldn't mind having the crit hit damage along with the enemy armor damage, but I really want that Nomad 4. Nomad 4 is going to give me just what I need. Because once I get that Nomad 4, I get that set bonus, which means that after receiving fatal damage, my health bar refills itself. I mean, I understand it only happens once every 10 minutes, but that would save me from popping my alt until I get, I get hit that last time. 
that last hit gives me extra time to put in uh, uh, first aid kits, to apply first aid, to drop my self-heal, which I, I have the self-heal with the booster shot, which also gives me defense and it gives me attack. I mean, it, it gives me time to work. That's what I need. I need time to work so that I can get away from people or get myself into a position where I can come back and attack you. So, let's watch. Watch here as I switch weapons. Oh, what am I doing here? I don't even know. All right, I've switched weapons, right? Not my classic AK-47 equipped. And I go back in to my DPS. Now, all of a sudden, my classic AK is at 150 instead of the 171 it was just at. Same damage stats, but now, all of a sudden, it doesn't do as much damage per second. And my vector is showing at 165. I mean, I was just looking at it and I was at 181. How am I at 165 now? So if I switch up, boom, big change in my primary DPS. Now all of a sudden I'm back at 181. Is it because of the critical hit chance? That's quite possible because now with my vector on, I have a crit chance. So the system is saying there is a higher chance for me to get a critical hit on the enemy. And that is why SMGs are so overpowered in this game. I'm kind of glad they are. I, I mean, if I'm gonna use an SMG, I'm in a close fight. I need that to be overpowered in a close fight because looking at my set here, I'm not ready for war. All right, let's um, what do I want to do with this one? Let's let's get this ready for, for being crumbled. All right. All right, we're gonna take a trip to the dark zone. I'm gonna start off here in DZ one. I don't know if I'm going to go any higher than DZ1, but I need to kill a named enemy today. And I also need to take out 10 of those fire-wielding, flame-throwing cleaners. So the cleaners are my enemy today and one named character. Usually when I come here on the front, on the front end, in the beginning... The name character I'm going to get is going to be the one Bonnie or Clyde all the way down at the end. Doesn't matter which one. They're both in the way. I could take either one of them out. But a difference of 30,000. Yeah, where's he going? Backup activated. System rebooted. Right, let me uh, stay away from those people. I'm not trying to get involved in anything this early. I just want to get into the zone. Get a couple kills. Get some stuff. Because I need to be ready for when the new drop comes for 1.2 this week. Coming up. I think it's going to drop Tuesday. I'm so ready for Tuesday. I want Tuesday to be here today. Alright, let's see what we got. What do we have up here? I don't see anybody. It's like I'm in this area all by myself. Just me. All by myself. Trying to get a little bit of gameplay for you guys before I close it out. And... I don't think I'm going to see anything. Oh, there we go. Cleaners. Let's get into position here. This guy. He likes to try and hurt people. He likes to try and hurt people quickly. But I get him out of the way. I take care of him. Take care of him too. Oh! Drop kick! Hey there, buddy! What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. Now what did you drop? Probably a performance mod. Wait a minute. I can't see it. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait. I lost it. There it is. Ah, hunting M44. Target. Yep. <clears throat> it's got deadly and something else. That, that's It really doesn't matter. It's not that good. 
Not for me right now. But that's all right. I just needed to pick up a couple things. And what's this? Advanced firearms mod. Uh, 93. Let's take it back. I'll, I'll, I'll melt it down into something else. All right, so I got my named kill. And I already got a couple of those cleaners. I just need a couple more. I know they usually spawn down this way. So let's see what we got. Got nothing. Ah, oh, box. Absolutely nothing in the box. Why is there a green? In the 161 and up. Why is there a green? In a box. That's 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 a useless box. It's a waste of time. I could see why I was able to open it cuz nobody else is opening that box. All right. Uh let's see here. Oh. Also, in the 1.2, the one thing that I am going to show you how to do, that's going to be avoiding the rope cut. That is going to be the number one thing I'm going to work on. Showing you guys how to get yourself into position. How to put yourself in the right position to get your, your gear on the extraction site. And not get your rope cut. That, that's that's going to be a really, really, that's going to be key. That's key. That's a quality one right there. Right, let's see. Uh, this is what I normally do. Because I'm in here by myself, I don't want to get into a firefight with anyone while I'm waiting on the extraction helicopter to come down. I want to stay out of any fights, any army, any wars or anything like that. I know I saw somebody out here who was rogue. I don't know where they are right now. They might be close to me. They might be underground. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes out for that. Because if a rogue comes... All right, see there. Somebody's over that way. Where's the rogue at? I saw the head pop up. But I don't see it on the map here. He might be waiting on me. He might be sitting over there just waiting for me. Which, I mean, it's not a problem. You know, he's shooting because he's fighting up against these guys. Somebody's shooting down there. There's somebody down there. And they're shooting. Whoever it is is not rogue at the moment. And the extraction is now here. So, time to go. Now that the extraction is here, I can go up to the extraction site. And get ready to go. Pop my alt to avoid anyone to come, trying to come and take it from me. And there we go. We've got the package. Didn't look like he was in any kind of trouble. I just felt I needed to shoot somebody. Extraction operation complete. Save a fellow agent. Pop this, get my damage resistance and my damage bonus. Get out of here. You're not killing me. This guy's not bad. He's just running around shooting stuff. All right, I popped my alt. And I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my alt is almost all the way back. That's right. My alt is... is I don't know how to explain it. Warning. I think it's because I have... I already have a gun on that um, gives me my alt back. What is the thug doing down here? Oh, that's right. This is the thug spot. This is where the thugs are. Oh, hello. What you got in you? Shooter gloves and that. I don't want that. I don't want any of that. That is garbage. 
two purples. Leaving contaminated area. Right, I need to find some more um, cleaners so that I can finish this up. And we can return back to the other area. Somebody's talking. Oh, it's probably inside that building. Those aren't cleaners. Uh, I'll leave them alone for right now. I don't need to kill them. I just need the cleaners. Alright, I know cleaners spawn down this way. So let's see if I can find some cleaners down here. There we go. Cleaners. Let's take these guys out real quick. Okay, so I'm at eight. This guy's gonna be number nine. There we go. Now all I need is one more cleaner, and my night of killing cleaners is over. And let me go back down to the front end. If you if you're in here, you're at rank thirty, and you just want to hurry up and quickly get the seventy-five k. I would say stay in these first two areas, Dark Zone 1, Dark Zone 2, especially if you have to kill cleaners or if you have to kill thugs. There's tons of them around here. Rikers also. The only thing you're not going to find down here in these earlier areas uh, will be the LMB soldiers. LMB soldiers, you're going to have to go to Dark Zone 4, maybe even Dark Zone 5. Uh, there's two guys running over there. Don't know what they want. And I think I might have found the final ones. Yes? No? Come on. Where are the cleaners at? I'm guessing they might have wiped them all out. There's going to be one more set around here somewhere. Let's see. These guys. What do they want? What you want, though? You wanted to kill me. For what? So, yeah, that's that's the downfall of um, being out here. You get people that just want to go rogue. For what reason? I don't know. And that's the end of that guy. Ah, oh, and there we go. I got my cleaner. So all my cleaner kills are done. I think I need to get out of here before this act. All right, come on, let's... Let's get to moving. Got to get out of here. There you go. Yup. So, welcome back, people. Yeah, we took care of that. You know, the problem that happened in the dark zone. And now, we are back out in the regular world. We are at the checkpoint. Notice that there is a security check that is going to be performed. Um, however, I don't see anybody standing around for the security check. Okay, 
All right, but there is a security check somewhere. Well, we're right over here by the Hudson Refugee Camp, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to play the Hudson Refugee Station. Camp. It's Dr. Hey, I to to you, the you guys come back whenever you feel like it. Remember, if you like this content, to sla smash down on that like button. You know, just let everybody know. Just pound down on that like button. Let people know that you like this. And subscribe. It helps. You know, that way I know people actually like what I'm doing. People enjoy what I'm doing. And you want to see more. Like I said, this is Wes Paul 1. Get out of here. And I'm out.